Hello, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be playing around with the Ruby Spite. Since I've never really used it before, I tried it, thought, oh, this gun's a bit rubbish, and tossed it away. Um, well, that was a mistake, and I think I'm not the only one to make this mistake. So, Ruby Spite's hiding something, a little bit of a secret, and that it's in, in its alt fire. So, when you spawn in, you just alt fire once, and it will zoom in. Uh, I've already done it, apparently. So make sure you're in the most zoomed in mode, and what this is going to do is it's going to give us a 2.89 times damage multiplier, uh, which is a lot. Why I don't 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 try and understand. Um, and then pair that with the special effect of the gun, get a kill. The gun goes all cracked and insane and aggressive auto targeting. There's oh, they're already dead. Auto-targeting, yeah, it just kind of starts playing itself. Aiming the general area of an enemy and it will just curl in and, and kill them. Unfortunately, can't go through walls. That'd be quite useful right now since all the enemies decided to spawn inside. Sirs. Yeah, just shoot in. There we go. <laughs> so you know how pixies are really, really strong and are like peak clear right now? Well, th this is just turn yourself into a pixie. It's great. So yeah, get a kill, the gun gets increased fire rate and aggressive homing, and I do mean aggressive homing. So first kill's a bit slow, so I'm using uh, From the Shadows here just to trigger that, and then away we go. May as well just stand in here actually and just kind of shoot out. <laughs> there we are, getting, getting some kills, some enemies are spawning. You can see it homing in, but I think it's actually hitting something. Oh, we got another kill. Bone crab, just get rid of that. There we are, cool, room done. <laughs> we saw like one enemy. And the rest, of the game just played it itself. So yeah, uh, do bear in mind that, of course, uh, bonus elements could steal this. Bonus elements are uh, not good, but they do steal your kills, so sometimes you might need two. And yeah, once it's rolling, any kills just re up the effect and. Away you go. I'm running Tidebreaker just because this build was based around using a cryo auto magic that I had. Basically just turn it into a pseudo liquid cooling, um, have maximum ammo up time and stuff. Which works very well, but then I found this gun, so I need a new spell. Or I just use Tidebreaker because Tidebreaker is really, really good. And we're on the obelisk already. Heck yeah. And this will of course be just very quick and autopilot-y. Yeah, okay. Enemies are spawning and then they're seizing. Goggle Snot. Goggle Snot's like... Goggle Snot just decides to go immune sometimes. Thankfully he didn't with us. Uh, why is that thing? There it is. May as well get the ammo. It's gonna be a really fast run. My first run of this, I did one run today, I just thought I'd try it out. Not used it before, and I got a 6 minute 16 as my first run. Which is uh, definitely respectable for a non-pixie, non-spell setup. Just, you know, gun build. Although I wouldn't really call this a gun build, it's very... <laughs> it is just autopilot. Just yeet bullets around and hope for the best, you know. I think that might be a bit too aggressive of a curve for it to go over there. About a third, I'd use my action skill a bit more aggressively, but unfortunately I don't. Uh, what I do have though is a new amulet for a part of DLC 2, uh, the Glutton's Gambit. Gambit? Gam- uh, Glutton's Gamble. Got there in the end. Uh, and that is a unique amulet in that it interacts with crossbolts. Uh, whenever you hit with crossbolts, you have a base 15% chance, increases with chaos tiers, for it to ricochet. And when it ricochets into new enemies, you replenish your ammo, which is uh, another reason why I'm able to keep this ammo up, despite it, you know, just burning through uh, shots very, very quickly. Cool, that's that room done. So I'll quickly show that here. So yeah, this is mine. I don't even have good passives. It's just base, 
non-chaos, dark magic, spell shot power, and then the uh, barbel load effect, which is attacks of 15% chance to fire, attach cross bolts. So you need cross bolts for this to work. Not all cross bolts work. It, it needs to be able to stick a cross bolt in on the, the first shot. So this, it doesn't work with a sawmill, uh, but it does work with weapons, you know, just like standard cross bolt pistols and stuff. Works with ludites for some reason. I don't really know why. Please don't be a coiled. Okay, you're a coiled. God damn it. I find coiled just the most awkward enemies to shoot out of those. Not because they're tanky. I think they're the least tankiest. Should have been standing inside of a circle this run. Oh well. Doesn't matter. We just shoot the sky. Make sure we're getting a kill to keep the effect up. Snyclops there who's got immune. I hate how they can do that. Cool. And we still got the bonus objective anyway. Nope, no we didn't. Side objective failed. It's right there on the screen. Now, when it comes to bot- oh, I had to get drilled. This is going to be a quick run, and I had to get drilled, didn't I? That's just rude. Ah oh, well. I have to soak you. How do you not get sucked? Alright. Cool. It does have boss damage, and I would like to have shown that, but you need ads. I should have kept that enemy alive just to do my actual bloody showcase, but apparently I don't think it had. You know what, I should just go in. There we go. <laughs> I was faffing about, I'm sure. Uh, it would have been easy if I had bullet regen, but... Shield was up, because I bought it up there for some reason. Uh, if you could spawn ads for this next phase, so I could show the bossing power of this, that'd be great. I do still want to get a quick run, even if it is a drill and we have to stand here waiting. No ads. That's fine. That's fine, I'll just kill you. Sword Explosion, Dom. Why is Sword Explosion the way that it is? But yeah, it's not going to be Sword Explosion for bossing, but it is going to get close. And there's a 648 with Drill. I don't... I'll, I'll have to check the timing on uh, when Drill spawned. Um, because if that was like a Lachance or a Chums or something. A very different story on that 648. Uh, probably well into the fives. So yeah, that's, that's just how nuts this Ruby Spite is. Very, very fast clear. Uh, the rest of the build, that was the Sword Explosion, that was the Delusion, um, because I like want to show it off. Uh, where's my Great Bow gone? There it is. That's my Great Bow. Spell Blade, Shark Spains. Probably good spell damage rings is probably better here, because I do run plus three in Magic Bullets. Uh, purple non-chaotic. Last gas for Bullet Regen, which was mainly for the Auto Magic, but you know, ammo efficiency on the Spite. Running a new amulet, the barber load. Want to get one of these with all damage and such. Tidebreaker, very good spell, and then uh, main main spell shot, and then a chunk of stabber. Uh, I don't I don't have a video on this build. This is my glass cannon build. It's basically just is more glass and more damage than the blitz berserker build I uploaded. That's kind of the point here. Uh, self capped at 480, so 20% in each of the. Bonus things, and then playing on intense. Cool. Uh, oh yeah, they added these. Oh, it's only 3.6 this time. This gets up to like 30 million. If you get a primordial armor piece, you need like 30 mil. It's ridiculous. Uh, but these vendors are a cool addition, and I am a fan. So yeah, that is the Ruby Spite. Really nutty gun. When you get one kill, it just kind of goes and goes off. So <laughs> yeah, keep an eye out for them. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Stay awesome. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.